So in acid base sections, there's a couple times where you would do stoichiometry uh, that you've seen so far. And that would be uh, for buffer problems. It, in many cases, you're going to do a buffer problem. And it's whenever you add something to the buffer. So if you add a strong acid or strong base to a buffer, you're definitely going to do a stoichiometry problem. For a titration problem, you're going to do a stoichiometry problem pretty much always. Sometimes you can do it in your head, so it's not a big deal. But that's the part of the problem when you're finding out what's in excess. That's stoichiometry right there. You figure out what's extra. So that's when you would do it. You're also going to do it in the upcoming chapters. Uh, whenever the unfavored side doesn't have a zero. So now let's do a little bit of math. Does that sound okay? So if you have a problem where A plus B goes to C, uh, and this is 5 moles, this is 2 moles, uh, let's say this is 1 mole, uh, yeah, one mole. And let's say, uh, in this case, k is equal to 10 to the 6. Okay? So, the right-hand side is favored. Okay? k is large. It's much bigger than 1, so the right-hand side is favored. Uh, in that case, this reaction wants to go to the right. Let's say we didn't know which way it wanted to go from the arrows. Well, it wants to go to the right because of K. Because of that, it doesn't make sense that there's anything left here. If so much wants to go to the right, it, this all should react. So I have to do stoichiometry to show that. Uh, or in essence, I subtract the smaller number of moles from the reactants, and I add that number to the products, leaving me with three Zero, three. Now, this makes sense. The reaction wants to go to the right because the right hand side is favored, and there's nothing left of B, the limiting reactant on the left hand side. It's all reacted. It should. It wants to go that way. Now, if I want to do an I stable, I can. All I would do is say I, C, E. I use the same reaction. I, I want to put moles, a uh, molarity. It's my preference for the ice table. So I'd go uh, 3 of A, 3 moles of A, divided by the total volume, whatever that is, uh, 0, and then 3 um, moles divided by the total volume here. So this line, once you change the molarity, is the I line of your ice table. And now you do everything as normal. You say, which way does this shift? Well, it's got to shift towards the side that has a zero. This is going to shift to left. So plus x here, minus x here. So far, OK? OK. So this will be 3 over b plus x, x, and 3 over b minus x. So k, which is 10 to the 6, will be product. 3 over V minus X over reactants. 3 over V plus X times X. See how that kind of works? Okay. If you're okay with that, I'll roll out a different situation. Okay, a different situation. So I'm going to erase this. Okay. Let's erase all this. I'm going to keep the reaction and the number of moles. Try a different situation. Let's say k is 10 to the minus 6. Now which side is favored? Left hand side, the reactants, because k is much, much smaller than 1. So now this reaction wants to go this way. It makes no sense if there's any products because it's so favored on the other side. So I've got to do stoichiometry and react the smallest there's only one product, so it all reacts away, and it adds, in this case, to the reactants, because it's going to the left, so it's 6 and 3 moles. 
zero of the products. Now if I want to do, I can go into the I table. I, C, and E. The I line is these numbers changed to molarity. Again, you can use moles, but I encourage molarity. So it would be 6 divided by the volume, 3 divided by the total volume, and 0. Now which way is this going to shift? It's going to shift to the right. It's got to go towards the 0. It can't shift away from it because there's nothing for it to make. So it goes minus x, minus x, and plus x. Or 6 over the volume minus x, 3 over the volume minus x, and x. So K now is products X over the reactants. Uh, 6 over V minus X times 3 over V minus X. See how the problem changes a little bit now? Because the only thing that changed was K. The setup was all, I gave you the same initial information. Okay. If that one's okay, let me roll out one more. So one more example. Here I have to change the initial question a little bit. Let's say we had uh, zero moles of this one, two moles of this one, and one mole of this one. Okay. And let's say K is 10 to the 7. K is really large. The right-hand side is favored. It wants to go to the products. Well, it did. There's nothing left here. It cannot react more to the right. We will now go straight to the ice table. So I, C, and E, I've got to change moles to volume. 0, 2 over the total volume, 1 over the total volume. Now this is going to shift back to the left because it has to shift towards the 0. So plus x, plus x, minus x. Or 1 over v minus x, 2 over v minus, uh, plus x, and x. That will make k, which is 10 to the 7, equal to products over the reactants. See how the problem kind of changes based on what K is and the initial values of the moles. So in certain situations like this one, no stoichiometry needed because it was done reacting, meaning it wants to go to the right and it did. There's none left here. In the other cases, the direction it wanted to go, it could still react. So you have to do stoichiometry first, and then figure out what X is, and do the I in the second. In the buffer problems or the buffer region of the titration type question, uh, you don't need to use the ice table. You would use Henderson Hasselbach in lieu of the ice table. Does that kind of help? Okay, do you have any other questions about stoichiometry? Okay, so knowing if you have to do stoichiometry is based on two things K, figure out what's the unfavored side. The second thing is the number of moles of the reactants. So you need to know K and the moles of the reactants. If there are uh, non-zero values for the moles on the unfavored side, then you have to do stoichiometry. If there is a zero, contrast that, if there's a zero on the unfavored side, you don't have to do stoichiometry. This is just a shorthand way of saying what I said verbosely earlier. So you need a zero on the unfavored side or you must do stoichiometry.